Alright, Punch of Face here with Record of Augur War Zero, Part 2. You, that child is no longer your concern. Face me. <gasps> hmm, fight me, would you, human? The bravery of an insect does not keep him from his grave. Hold on, I'm gonna click something here. This is backlog down there. Oh, that's cool. It tells you, um, you know, the conversation. That's kind of nice. Oh, wait, play voice? Ah, oh, that's cool. Alright, close that. Um, pay attention to the mouth animation when they talk. It's pretty nice, actually. Indeed, it shall put you in. in the <laughs> Indeed, it shall put you in yours. Uh, whatever. Oh, they're not talking anymore. Oh, here we go. Looks pretty nice, actually. I shall cover your your blah 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 blah. blah. I shall cover your retreat. Go. Ah. Uh? Hey, is that Leonard's sword? Huh. Kind of look like it. Ooh, I'm liking this music. <laughs> he looks phony. Looking like flapping his hands down there. I'm guessing. Let me guess. This is one of those battles that I cannot yet win. Did he go invisible? Huh. Oh, yep. There we go. Overkill. There's the crystal. Yeah, it's another one of those battles, huh? They're really going to do that again. Come on, that's a little bit played out, guys. It's my first save here. Ooh, I like that music too. I'm liking the music a lot more in this one. Oh, yeah, it did come with the soundtrack, didn't it? I was just thinking. Why must only fools surround me? Why must I always have to be wait, always be the architect of their rescue? Ah. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Words, creature. I think you heard that screaming. Eh? I feel cold. Can this body truly be mine? That child, is she? I feel so cold. I guess you're dying in this one too, and let me guess. She, she's, yeah. she's gonna make you an offer in which you can't refuse and take your soul. You. Wish to live? Ah, come on. Same thing. Maybe there's a reason for it. What? I asked if you wish to live. Nah. Would you return to your world? I don't know. See, he could either die, and you know, in, you know, be in the internal sleep, and have a good life or afterlife, or he could stay in this shitty world and have numerous fights. And go through a lot. Uh, I must return. There is much left undone. Then I grant you the blah, what? Oh, then I, I don't know. I was reading it right, but I don't know. Then I grant to you the power to do what cannot be left undone. <laughs> That's an awkward sentence.
Character creation. Select character's base class. Select a click. Uh, wait. Select a character class for Psy Psy Heart. Select one of three base classes: warrior, battle mage, and sorcerer, depending on the law. Yeah. I'm probably gonna choose warrior. That's just how I roll in most games. Look! Look at that detail. It looks quite nice, actually. Actually, I've seen these cards. I have these cards, actually. Select character sub soul. Select any five cards out of 24 available. Each card has two soul types each attached to it. Okay. The available types of souls including sword, knuckle, spear, sword and staff, gun, sword and dagger, dagger, breaker, ooh, scythe and staff. Depending on the compatibility of your choices with you chose with your chosen base class, uh, it's like heart stats and equipment will further evolve. Uh, hmm. Um. Is it? Uh, crap. I'm looking for scythe. I want it. I don't care if I'm a warrior. I'm a warrior with the scythe, and that's how it's gonna be. I can't I can't tell what these are. What is what are these? Uh choose five? Yeah. Um that guy has a big sword thing. Uh, why does it look huh? When I enlarge the picture there, it kinda looks a little pixely and stretched out. That's kinda weird. Whoops. Ah, crap. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm guessing that's a warrior. Huh. And that's. What is that? I don't know. I don't know. What is that? It's a giant hammer. I'm not sure if I can. If picking these, or if the picture on them means what weapon they have is what I can use. I'm just picking some cool ones, I guess. What's the coolest ones? And I'll pick those. This guy's pretty cool. Oh, that guy. And... Uh, watch me have, like, that's a bow. Watch me have, like, the most retarded things. I don't know. Let's pick the no, no. Let's pick that one. Yeah. Slot settings. Select four cards. Then set up a slot for side heart skills. Depending on the slot selection, the skills available will change. The first two cards you select will determine your default skills, and remaining. Two will determine the skills you obtained as your base class improves. <sighs> More cards. That one looks cool. Con wait, oh, a combo fire, water, power, fire. I want, I want, please select the cards. I want that one. I want that one. I want that one. Extra. General. I think I'll be, uh. Yeah, let's. No. Yeah, let's pick general. Yeah. Alright. So. My attack looks pretty high. I can't move very far. Evade 9. Hit 99. Resist 119. Mag 121. Defense 123. Attack 170. Strength. Ooh, I'm liking my stats down there. I got excellent strength and excellent vitality. I must have did something right. I'm not very smart. <laughs> but, eh, that's not too bad at all. I bestow upon you the strength 
uh, you, the strength you require. Stand. Hey, that that was the noise from for impulse. <laughs> yeah, it was. Ah, is that what that was? Insect worm, what have you done? So she's like, stop time or something. Ooh. That's a pretty awesome looking sign. Like, I'm gonna beat the shit out of that guy. No, my eyes must deceive me. You stand with such grievous wounds. You stand. Am am I alive? I thought surely you had. I had dealt your final blow, but one shall be the count. Wait, but one shall be the count of my failures in that regard. He looks kind of stupid. Uh, I don't know. I don't like his uh, character design. And I'm guessing I'm going to get her on my team now. So, unlike the girl in Record of Augur's War, uh, what's her name? The Whatever, the person that heals you at the very beginning. I like how she moves. kind of adorable. Uh, hmm. Huh? What in the hell? This can't be happening. What's going on? Uh, there's no way we'll be able to pull this off in time. Oh, I know. Face in my direction. Ah. Ah. Great. Now we can take advantage of an extended area. Ah. Extended area is a specific, uh, is a specific area that is set up for each character. The orange aura uh, designates the extended area. Ah, I kind of figured that. Starheart's extended area is spread to the sides. Moving characters in your extended area or moving into another's extended area will s allow you to perform powerful combo attacks. There it is. That's what I was hoping they had to have in this one. The green line is in Link. So yeah, I, I think I got it. It's pretty much um, the same thing in the first one, which I did like a lot. It made the game a little bit more um, in-depth, I guess. One way is to use the left trigger and right trigger, which becomes in available when moving characters during a move phase. Press them and it will display other characters' extended areas. Okay. That's, that's new. Yes, I understand. You can stop it now. Using this method, you can determine a unit's extended area. Be sure to take advantage of this method. The other method is to simply place the cursor on the characters well, on the characters whose extended area you'd like to check. Yes, okay, I, I got it, game. Please, just let me play. Oh. Alright. Let's do this and move face, yes. The characters have a lot more movement to them in this one, that's for sure. One of the I have more action points now. That's right, all of the characters within the extended area will have their AP replenished during the turn. Ah, that's cool. I don't think that was in the first one. I don't know. I didn't really read the tutorial in the first one. For extended attacks, you can do combo slash cooperative attacks, regardless of return, order, and distance. Yeah, okay. Yeah, just like the first one, that's cool. At least they didn't change it. Characters can participate in extended attacks and show the top of their skill window. Characters that can participate. Oh, whatever. By pressing blah blah blah. Yeah, I got it. 
Be sure to link characters with later turns together so they can be part of the extended area attack. That's actually a pretty good idea. Um, by linking those characters with later turns and having them attack earlier through... Oh, wait. You can give yourself a definitive edge in battle. Also, in an extended area attack, skills that normally wouldn't reach a certain area can be used. Oh, that's cool. Um, even skills normally used by adjacent characters can be formed from distance by using extended area attacks. If the square you want to move to is within an extended area, you can link with allies to attack again. But remember that you need AP to use... Okay, I'm done reading this. I've got it. Now I guess it's wanting me to do it all. Is it gonna let me do stuff? Wait, okay. Tang, I have a lot of skill. Burst hit. Let's try that one. I missed. Is it really gonna do that to me? Hey, Impulse, one of my favorite attacks in the first one. Alright. I yet know her name, so... Or yet do not know her, her name. She is apparently invincible. Alright. Um, I guess I'll do the same thing again. Uh, yeah. Alright. Boosh. Uh, where did her scythe go? You, you notice that? Her scythe isn't the same. Yeah. Take down the barricade. Alright. Yeah. Some 18 experience there. Ah, since she didn't level up, I'm guessing I can't use her. Um, let's let's give um, main character in this one a little bit more HP. Hold on, then attack. Unlike the first one, uh, I guess I can't really even it out, can I? That's kind of annoying. I guess I'll have to do that for now. But I won't ever let his health, or his, uh, uh actual health go below strength and length. So uh, that's what I'm going to do in this one. And I'll add, you know, some stats to the other ones every now and again. Such power. Before my blows could scarcely scratch him. But now. Now I'm a badass. Yes, I fought a larva, but... I thought sure I had perished, but then am I yet alive? Alright. Yes, I am, but I fear I would have been otherwise were it not for you. I'll give you my thanks and my life. Me? Ah, oh, I beg your pardon. I have yet not introduced myself. I'm Sai Heart at your service. Zeke Heart? <laughs> May I have the honor? So it's like Zeke Heart? Is that what it is? May I have the honor of your name, my, my lady? Your name? Name Zeke? Yes, that is my name, or part of it at any rate. <laughs> I seek the honor of calling you by yours. Uh. Oh, okay. She is. Wait. She is the woman who saved me, yes? Am I mistaken? No, it must be her. I'm sure of what I saw. Who's that guy? 
Who are you? Looks to be one of ours. Are you from the front? Indeed, sir. My name is Zeghart. I'm gonna call him Zeghart because what she said. So. I've been dispatched here to evacuate a nearby village. I am Arzest. <laughs> I guess that's what it is. Commander of the forces on the front line. I felt something quite tremendous from over this way and I came to investigate. Are you its source? No, sir. She is more likely c candidate. This child? No. No, I sense strength in you that I do not detect in her. You do? No, you do not understand. Without her aid, the larva would have been the end of me. Indeed, it, is, it nearly was. I perished and she returned me to the land of the living. Surely you... Oh, he looks cool. Ah, I found you at last. You have led me on quite a chase. Memalia? Ah, oh, that's her name. Uh, now we know. <sighs> Go away, name tag. Thank you. Have you been looking after her then? Yeah, no. I preceded you by only moments. This man is her steward at the moment. My name is Zekart. Then you must. Then you have my thanks. Your help is greatly appreciated. What's that um black stuff on his face? Is that part of his? Is that, what is that? Uh. I don't mean to speak out of turn, sir, but I have done very little. Jigen, Jiganda, what brings you here? I've been tasked with the delivery of our trump card, this girl. Now why do you feel so little power in her? Or why do I feel so little power in her? What? Z card, did you not tell me this child defeated the, the larva and resurrected you? Indeed, I did, sir. This is only conjecture, mind you, but do you think it's possible she gave her power to you? Yeah, I kind of thought that. You mean she returned me to life? Mad thought it sounds. It would make some manner of sense. Well, this is hardly ideal. Perhaps Lord Ernesto, I'm pretty sure that's what that is, will know what to do of you, both of you. I will return to Trizon with Mamelia when your orders have been carried out. Report to Lord Ernesto. Understood. Now come, Mamelia. No, not Mamelia. No? Your guardians seem to think it was appropriate enough of a name. No matter. There will be time enough to later. Wait. There will be time enough later to learn your name. Come. Go with Z. Uh. Mami? Uh. She seems rather attached to you. But Zig, Zig! Ah, fine, do as you wish. But you see that she is safe and remains so. Am I clear? Yeah, yes, sir. I shall uh, precede you and tell his lordship of what has transpired. You, escort her to Trizon, understood? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir.
I mean, no disrespect, but are you quite sure to leave such an important task to me? What else am I to do? She is clearly quite fond of you. Zeghart, you said you came to blows with a larva here, yes? Yes, sir. Very well then, I shall secure the area. You may return to your mission. Take a good, good care of her now. Won't let you down, sir. Alright, um, it's a little too early to say if I enjoy this one more than the other one, but I kind of am. Shall we depart, Mamilia? Like, more likable characters, better art, better quality, you know. Me, me. Uh? Me, me! Me? me, me? What? <laughs> this one has a lot more humor to it. Me, me! Oh, uh, Mimi. Uh, yay. I'm, <laughs> I'm liking this one. Yes, Mimi. Shall we depart, Mimi? Yes. You've had quite an adventure, haven't you? Excitement and danger, and so on. If, but fortunately, you have returned mostly unharmed. But um, I hit my time limit, guys, so I'm uh, gonna call this one a wrap, and I will um, see you guys later. Bye.